Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 46. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the S-Class Asian Tour. We're going to be taking the Nissan GTR for this one. Starting off with Suzuka, Twin Ring and then finishing off with Sukuba. Let's go. They have a rock band guitar, right, and game in my local CEX, right? But it's they, they said it was going to cost 100 quid, and I was like, no. No, it's not. I am not paying that money. <laughs> but at the same time, I might. I'm not sure. All I can say is I'm absolutely craving to play this game. Like, genuinely obsessed. I haven't played Guitar Hero Live in ages. Obviously, they shut the servers down for that. Can you still buy DLC for Rock Band? I really hope you can. Because if you can't, that sucks. Thanks PA, Checo gave Yuki a puncture. Carlos P1 and look like P2 trying to back up George. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I couldn't give a shit about Formula 1 lately. It's just such a toxic community. It's so toxic. Like, even down to the people that work in Formula 1, it's unbelievably toxic. Red Bull Racing is toxic, Mercedes is toxic, Sky Sports themselves are toxic, fucking everything, it's just full of, it's a cesspit of toxicity, it's horrible, it's nasty, it's one of the worst motorsports out there, by far. I'm not gonna lie, it is borderline worse than football. It's not even the fact about paying attention to that part. You can avoid it. There is no way to avoid it. You can't watch Formula One and not because of the fact that all of the teams are toxic towards each other. All of the drivers are toxic towards each other. Now, whether it's a strategy for press it could well be, but if that's the case, then that's even worse. Because then they're just doing it for money. But I, d I genuinely don't understand, because the amount of bullshit that comes out of Christian Horner's mouth, the amount of bullshit that comes out of Toto Wolf's mouth, the amount of bullshit that comes out of Zach Brown's mouth, they're just... Oh. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is quite possibly one of the worst, if not the worst, sports. Flat out. It's horrible. You look at WRC, you don't see people hating on each other because of the fact they support a certain driver or whatnot.
but at the same time, if a driver makes a mistake, you know the driver's made a mistake. You're not gonna go and say, oh, well, it wasn't his fault. Or blame it on the other driver, because it's my favorite driver and it's always everyone else's fault. You like Hamilton, go fuck yourself. You like Verstappen, go fuck yourself. I will say this hands down, right? The Silverstone incident on Stowe with Verstappen and Hamilton in the 2021 season, 100% was Lewis's fault. Uh, there's no way you can't say it wasn't because he didn't have the full corner. He didn't have the whole corner. But at the same time, the incident around Monza was fully Max's fault. Max completely screwed up. And again, if you can't see that, you are stupid. Both of them are bad as each other. I don't support either driver anymore because I think they're both absolute knobs. I used to be a Max fan. And before that, I used to be a Hamilton fan. Now, I, I don't like either of them. I think they're arseholes. Both of them are absolute arseholes. I don't want to... I literally, in terms of a, like a motorsport, Formula One is one of the worst motorsports. In fact, the worst motorsport. Carlos now has more poles with Ferrari than Alonso in Ferrari. Yeah. But to be fair, Ferrari is a lot better this year than they have been in previous years. And I think even with... While Alonso was with Ferrari, I don't think Ferrari was that good. The issue is Ferrari has the Ferrari name. And obviously being associated with Michael Schumacher and all the years back in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Those years that he was with Ferrari and getting all those championships. And obviously Kimi Raikkonen as well getting a championship with Ferrari. I, I believe he got one, didn't he? 2007? People obviously think that our oh, Ferrari is a front field team. So when they're in the midfield... They still expect, like, Ferrari to be amazing. They've been a very midfield team for a long time, the past 20 years. And I think only this year has their performance actually picked up. And 2019, I think they were pretty good for those years. But, like, realistically speaking, their performance has been lacking for a while. So, obviously, seeing them get positioned is very good. But at the same time, then, they haven't been a front-running team for a long time. Same with McLaren. McLaren hasn't been for a long time. So when they get some good performances like they have done the past few races, it is good to see. Definitely. But again, they're, they're not a front-running team either. Right, join the WC grid. Good. I think Mick Schumacher should prove himself in something that's not Formula 1. Unfortunately, Formula 1 is very one-sided towards specific drivers now. Um, there's no way that Mick Schumacher is going to succeed in it. And we found that out while he was with Haas. It, he did not succeed. But the issue is that he he's not going to succeed in Formula 1 because he's got the Schumacher name and while he's in Formula 1 everyone is always going to compare him to his dad like they're going to expect him to be an 8 time, 9 time, 10 time world champion, something like that it's not quite how it works but if he can make a name for himself in WEC 
or even WRC, ERC, BTCC, anything. Make himself a name somewhere else that's his territory. I think it's a good idea. And I think it would be a very good move for Mick Schumacher. Hundred percent. I think it'd be a great move. Safety car. Safety car. Not bad. Good result there. I can imagine with how um, how bad that crash was that yeah, Stroll Stroll wouldn't be starting again. Oh, bonk. That is kind of a shame that um, Logan crashed out. What's that? Good first lap there. I absolutely see. Here's the thing I don't like the original exhaust shape of this car, so when I put on like round tipped exhausts like this it, it just improves the look of the car so much and this car with round tipped exhausts just round normal standard exhaust oh it's so good Bam 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 Though, to be fair, it doesn't surprise me that they recreated this track because it is one of the easiest tracks to recreate because of the fact it's small. So in terms of being able to get that scale factor in correctly, it's quite an easy one to do. But yeah, I did see that video and I was like, wow, that is quite impressive, actually. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of tracks being made, though, once this new update goes out. For, uh, like event labs and whatnot, because obviously they've now got the two by two kilometer island, which obviously makes it a million times easier for measurements because you know that the entire island is 2.2 km or two kilometers in each direction or something like that. So, actually building a full on racetrack might actually be quite easy. It'd be awesome if they could pull it off. 
Obviously, Spar, I think, is a bit too big for that size. But, like, they quite easily get away with making... I don't know, Malaysia. Malaysia, you could do. The Malaysian GP circuit. Sipang, I think it's called. And the fact you can free the roam it as well, that's pretty cool. bit of drum and bass. A good bit of drum and bass. Yeah. <laughs> I am the drum and bass father. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.